My brother, Allah is ordering me and you. إِذَا أَصَابَتْكُمْ مُصِيبَةً قَالُوا إِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Allah is ordering me and you. If we facing this calamity, we have to return to Allah and say, إِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ And you see what is going to happen. Allah ordered the mother of Musa, if she fear for Musa's life, to cast Musa into the fire, into the water. Now it's upon the mother of Musa, to, it's, it's her choice to do that. Guess what? She followed Allah's command, despite how hard that might have been. She followed Allah's command and cast the baby Musa into Nile. Oh, I can only imagine the worries. Now, because she follows Allah's command, that baby will have floated anywhere. You see, will have gone into the bush, will have gone on the other side of the river, will have gone, will have drowned. That baby will have gone anywhere. But because she followed Allah's command, that baby floated slowly, 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 slowly into Firaun's palace. Why? That baby need to be, needed to be safe. That baby needed somebody to take care of him. Now the one who hated him the most, Allah is going to make that person take care of that baby. Why? Because the mother of Musa والسلام, obeyed Allah's command. Despite how hard that, that might have been. She was asked to cast his son into Nile. Despite all the dangers he did that. We are just being asked when we face this calamity to turn to Allah and say, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. To Allah we belong. And to Allah we shall return. Now, because she had a problem, she decided to throw that problem into the hands of Allah. Allah did not just save baby Musa. That would have been enough. Allah did not just save baby Musa, he saved baby Musa. Allah, through that, he gave her a job because she was hired by Firaun to feed baby Musa and she got paid for it. It's, got, it's even better. Through that, my dear brothers, she had a son who was a messenger of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just for her being patient and her realizing when she has, she has a problem, she had to turn back to Allah and her following the command of Allah. So Allah, my dear brother, I can't stress this enough. When we have, the, when we have problems or when we are faced with this pro the problem that we are facing now, we have to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have, we have to turn back to Allah through du'as. We have to turn back to Allah through salat. We have to turn back to Allah through remembering him all the time. Through, I'm going to finish with this ayah when Allah subhanahu wa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَتَتُمَعِينُ قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكِرِ اللَّهِ As for those who believe and they find their heart, their, fun, their heart find rest in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah went on to say, say, Allah, ala بِذِكِرِ اللَّهِ تَتُمَعِينُ الْقُلُوبُ it's only through the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do a heart find peace. The worries, the worries will go. Anxiety, anxiety will fly away. Allah <laughs> bidikrillahi tatumainul kulub. Wallah is only through the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do a heart find peace. This Allah is saying, not me. Not even Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, you can, if you feel like you don't want to take the path of Allah, the Quran and the Sunnah, there's no harm seeking, seeking medical help. 
Our life, if you want the best solution to your problem, if you want a result that would be pleasing to yourself forever, it's for me and you to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That just like the mother of Musa alayhi salatu salam did. Wallah is for me and you to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just like Jacob alayhi salatu salam did. It's for me and you, Wallah, to go back to Allah just like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.